Welcome to our Utopia bracket. We're going to have 16 Travis Scott songs from Utopia go head to head. Only one winner by the end of it. And if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we will be doing more long form content on here on a regular basis. But let's get into this. So we have 16 songs, meaning that we cut off three. Yes. Del Resto. Adios. That's not on here. K-pop. Get out of here. That's not on here. And then Topia Twins. Not standing a Should chance. Should have never been on the album to That's begin with. here too. Uh, no. Bro, it has no place on this track list, it's, bro. It's not that bad. It's like the most basic, generic Travis bad. song of all time. The whole jet ski, and he's going crazy with it. Okay, that's Awful. interesting. But okay, let's go through Stinky. these matchups. Um, first matchup for today is going to be Hyena versus, thank God, um, two of the strongest rapping performances, in my opinion, on the album. And I think that the first part of the album for Utopia, the first half, is, is the stronger half. It's the stronger yeah. half as well. But where are you going with this? What song is better? Fuck, I don't know. I feel like... Thank God is really cool because it's Travis Scott rapping about his faith guiding him. And like, just, I think from a written standpoint, it's the better song, but Hyena has just this crazy fucking beat, bro. I love the strings. I love how chaotic it sounds. And it's, it's maybe Travis's best intro next to stargazing. Like it yes. really might be there. Pornography. You have some crazy. I know. Intro. I know. It's a big statement Come to on, me. Come on. No, 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 no. We're not going to be saying that here. I have to. Cl I have I'm, to I'm still going here. hyena over. Thank God. What about you? Honestly, this was one of the rounds where I could go either way. Like, I think maybe Thank God's a bit more in rotation, but Hyena's one of the best off the album, so I can't even complain at that. And I'll be okay with. Oh, I let you pass. You have to let me pass. No, because this was point. an easy one for you, brother. I still, I still went with you. We'll go Hyena for the All next right. one. Hyena moves on. After this, we have Meltdown featuring Drake versus Schizo featuring Thugger. And this is a cool matchup just because it's two songs that have multiple beat switches. And you have people that Travis is often working with alongside the Drake and the Thugger. Very different tracks. I love them both. I think we, we scored them amazing for both of them on our tier list that we did. They are amazing tracks. I think that Meltdown is easily comparable to Sicko Mode as far as quality goes. I love the dynamics of the track. I love the fast-paced energy. Um, I love Drake's new voice that he uses. It's very menacing, um, throwing shots at people on the biggest <sighs> stage of the year. But I'm going to go Schizo ultimately. I think that just the song structure itself is so unique for Travis Scott's catalog. And I love what he brings to the table as far as rapping performances go. He literally legitimately does not stop through the entire track i'm gonna go schizo i mean listen i love meltdown because you're getting drake out of his comfort zone rapping with this very menacing tone and um i think the only thing that weighs it down like the only noticeable flaw is the hook that they went with with like the is you fucking crazy it's no. not bad it's not bad but no, it's like sir. they could have done something else i've heard some that would have rang a bit stronger this weekend they could have done something else with the hook in my opinion still love the song and the production is better on uh, meltdown maybe than schizo but i will say this we were listening to that last part of schizo last night where travis is going off for the soul sample and you yeah, have it's stupid. like this trap so soul blend Oh my goodness, that's fucking amazing. And a six-minute epic song, Schizo gets the W, but Nick is going to be our tiebreaker today. And I'm curious, where would you have gone with this one, Nick? I would have gone Schizo, to be completely okay, honest. Okay, all right. Yeah. Fire. We're all right, on the so same page. Next up, though, what do we have? We have My Eyes versus Parasail. So these are two songs that have a bit more of that psychedelic Travis feeling to it. Um, it feels like you're floating in space when you're listening to both tracks. And um, I think when you got to look at both of them, Man, this is easy for me. It's going to be my eyes off the bat. It's a fucking landslide, bro. <laughs> Honestly speaking, but I'll say this. I think that like besides a couple of tracks, anything that my eyes goes up against, it's going to crush. You know my what eyes I mean? is one of the greatest songs on this album. But I will say this is about Paris Hill. With more and more listens, I like it more and more. It's one of those grower songs. What do you feel about like Dave me. Chappelle being part of it? It's awesome. I love the vocal effects on him it's too. Dope. It's really cool. And obviously the young lean vocals, like those drowned down sort of vocals that have a certain depressing mood to him mixed in with the euphoric production just blends in for this really nice sonic masterpiece. Yeah, it's definitely like the the, the skeletons um of the of the album in terms of how slow paced the mo the beat is moving and um the short-lived performance from Young Lean that sort of takes up like the weekend role to some extent even though they're very different very but true. My Eyes is the better song. Easy. It is. It is. Um let's end off this side of the bracket now with I Know versus Circus Maximus. And I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are going to say Circus Maximus is the better song because it's more epic in scale. It's lengthier. You have Sway Lee, The Weeknd, and Travis on here. The Weeknd gives us a really beautiful performance, bro. Amazing. I'm waiting on a let go. Like that, 
outro section is fucking hypnotizing. It is. And the Mike Dean outro is crazy, too. The yes, grandiose, bro. The grandiose vibes of the song really put everything into perspective for me. But I know his classic Travis Scott, bro. Like, this is where he's going to do best. But it's let me ask so you this. Sick. Like, Circus Maximus is the more exper experimental Travis with the black skinhead drums and the way that he took that and transformed it. But I know is, like, the safest, almost, it was, song a off the yeah, Utopia. it was a guaranteed banger it's for the a album. Fucking banger. It is, bro. yeah. The Coleman production is absolutely incredible. You get these haunting keys that lead in Travis, Travis's vocals. To be honest with you, I don't even know why this is a matchup. This was easy for me. Yeah, I, I know. Is, I know is going to beat Circus Maximus. Nick, just where are you because... going? Nick, where are you going? I know for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's the moodiest up. song on here. Best hook off the album too. Easy dub. Um, now let's move on to the other side where we have Fiend featuring Playboy Cardi versus Love featuring Kid Cudi. Um, I'll be honest with you, like, as much as I was vibing the fuck out to Fiend, like, that one really got and a my neck it's snapping. Gonna it's going to be crazy at festivals. Um, I wasn't crazy about either of these songs the more I listened to them in terms of them not ranking towards, like, the upper echelon you see, I, of my uh, ranking. You see, really, when I go into something like Love, it's one of my favorite for replay value off of the album. I love, like, the whole, You Feel Like That by Travis Scott. It you know where really that's taken from? That's Pusha T, yeah. numbers on the boards. Exactly. He sampled that and Travis redid it, which was cool. It's really fucking cool. And then after that, the big grandiose vocals. It almost feels like God's vocals coming in for the hook. Um, I love both Travis Scott uh, verses, especially the second one when there's a bit of a pause in the production and it comes back through. I like Kid Cudi's performance more than Playboy Cardi. Facts. I think this is easy for me again. I'm going love. Um, I don't know. I feel like Fiend is the one that I'm going to have in rotation more just because like the Fiend. Fiend. No, Fiend. See, like okay. that hook cool. is really stuck in my head already. Um, I do think that like having a rage song, not that it was out of place, but it just it wasn't really necessary for the track list. And love, again, better feature, better production overall. It gets the W. Of course it's gonna get this W. Okay, so love is gonna be passing through. Let's do modern jam versus God's country. Are you really gonna make an argument for God's country, bro? Are you gonna do it to I'm me? I'm probably gonna bump more God's country, but I can't argue against modern jam. Ah, oh, thank you. I can't argue with you. Why? Why would I do that? I don't even wanna have the talk. Yeah, the listen, I, I listen, I really enjoy God's country. I just so now you're gonna start talking good about it because I gave in? No, I just wanted to say it's half baked. Like it's really good for what it is, but it just it feels like it should have evolved into more. Um, they yeah. could have probably done more with it. I think so. All right. One of the hardest matchups Ooh. of this bracket is going to be Lost Forever versus Sirens because I really do hold these songs in the same regard. And I know how you feel about Lost Forever, how it could have been better with the original version. I'm just such a big fan of that Alchemist production towards the end. And I think it makes complete sense for the album context. Ultimately, though, I'm going to go Sirens. You're going to go Sirens over Lost Forever? I'm well, going to go Sirens. When we did our tier list, we did give the perfect rating to Sirens, and um, it is an amazing track. I love even Justin Vernon's contributions. Um, and, yeah, this is just Travis talking his shit with this crazy glitch hop type of beat that you get. Um, and I just, yeah, I love seeing this confidence, cocky energy where he's like, I'm going to refurbish the fucking rap game. Like, the time is... This is my time. And that vocal sample that comes in and then goes on the constant loop towards the end of the track to go into the Mike Dean intro. I'll say it again. And again, I think Highlight Lost Forever, just production-wise, now with this new addition, it's not as good. It pales in comparison to Sirens' beat, to me. All right, let's keep going on with this. Let's go on to Telekinesis versus Till Further Notice. Um, two slower-paced tracks towards the end of the track list. Um, both have fantastic Travis verses. I think you get the better Travis verse on uh, until further notice towards the end. That closing verse is the better verse out of everything. Out of but the two you tracks. get the better performance from Travis on telekinesis with that amazing ethereal hook where you're getting some of the best auto crooning, if not the best auto crooning of the whole album from him on that hook. I think the concept and the message of the song is more powerful too because this is the point in the album where Travis reaches his utopia, where he's ascending up, upwards into the sky. Um, Future and SZA, I think, have better features than 21 Savage until further notice. The James Blake one is obviously amazing. Um, I would personally go Telekinesis. What about you? What song is going to be more in rotation until further notice? What's more important than better for the album? I'll not, probably go Telekinesis. It's not about what's more. It doesn't matter. Like that, That's just my take on it. Like If you don't no, agree, bro, like, cause I talk understand, your shit. Because it, like, what you said is completely valid. I mean, I don't always have to challenge you. I mean, I, okay. If, I, okay. if I, I think like... Example, we um, 
we just finished recording our top 10 draft songs, right? And if it was a favorites list and like songs that I've had in the rotation for the longest, then I could go elsewhere with it. But for the sake of the bracket and what I think is a better song, it's probably telekinesis, to be honest with you. But okay, let's continue going on with this. So I've been keeping track of this bracket and we have some very, very... I think we're now in the, in the quarterfinals. We are already. So okay, let's continue going on with this. We have Hyena versus Schizo. As much as I like Hyena, to be quite honest with you, I think Schizo is going to make a nice push for me here. Um, I like how dynamic the production is in comparison to Hyena. I think that you get just as much, if not more, of a rapping performance from Travis on Schizo in comparison to Hyena, and the Young Thug feature is going to be a plus addition for me. Yeah, hi Hy Hyena was pretty crazy. You pronounce um, it different every time you say it. I know, bro. Just say I, Hyena. I mean, just say Hyena. I don't think that's what it is, because yeah, Hyena say, spelled, But it's a safe one. I think H-Y-E-N-A. Maybe you just wanted to like, get quirky with it, but whatever. Hyena, if you will. Um... I just, I think that like, it's one of those songs that really gives you that psychedelic rock feeling that is different, that is unique for Travis's catalog, but um, there's just, there's no stopping the momentum building that you get within Schizo. The fact that you feel like there's a song warped into a song into another song, like just um, the multifaceted levels and layers to it make it superior to me. So Schizo is going to advance without a doubt. Um, Next up, My Eyes. Versus I know. My eyes versus <laughs> I know. Don't say it long. Come on. What are we doing here? Listen, at, at the end of the day... Um, at the end of the day, what? At the, okay, fine. We're I at can't the end even of the get day. my words yeah, out, we're, bro. We're at the end of the day. <laughs> what would be the verdict? We're not at the end of the day. It's actually 5.46 p.m. Eastern time. <laughs> yeah, we so still have some more recordings. We today. still have some time to the day. But no, just to say, like you were saying about some other cuts, um, I know is actually my most played song off of all of Utopia. So for my personal rotation and my favorites list, I know would probably rank really, really high up. But if I'm looking at it for fucking face value... My Eyes is one of the most impressive things that Travis has ever done, and people have to appreciate that. And I, I do think that, like, the second half is is superior to the first half You need the eyes. first half for the second half of the song. Au contraire, my friend. Au contraire. I think that My Eyes is really nice because of that first half. Of course. The duality of the song is what makes it so special. It, it, exactly. But so I just think the second half does put it an, an edge above, and Sam Fatou did his thing. Um, overall, yeah, it's going to be My Eyes. I I'm not, I'm not going to be a stickler there. All right, let's continue on with this. Love versus Modern Jam. Mm -hmm. Love versus Modern Jam. Is this where we have uh, Nick coming in just because... Okay, at least let's, let's, let's at least break it down. What does Love do better than Modern Jam for you? It's going to be Modern Jam for me. Oh, but, it is? Yeah, but I mean, I just... You I don't, really you don't like seem love. happy, though. Like, it seems like it's fucking grinding your gears to say Modern Jam. <laughs> Whatever. Don't give me that face, bro. <laughs> Whatever. Light it up. It, it, it's... Uh, it's an impressive Travis Scott song. I just, I, it's not aging well with me. Like it's, it's not for my rotation. It just came out. <laughs> not for my rotation. It's one of the songs that I revisit the most, the least. To be honest with you, bro. Listen, at what? the end of the day, again, if you think love's better, just say so. What <laughs> a tie break. No, it's not because again, it goes back to that context, like that we were having the conversation about. It's like, what's in your rotation more, and what's the better put together track, and what's the like, what has better song structure, what has the better Travis Scott verses. That's not always gonna make make a break a rotation for me. You know, okay, so like what I, you're trying to tell me is that even though you prefer love, you just can't make the arguments for it being better. Exactly. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's where I'm at with it. Like you just okay. can't. Like I'm not gonna be an asshole with you and okay. just try to piss you off. Like I, I. I love love, but Modern Jam is is one of the best put together songs. I on the love album. love. Okay, <laughs> let's go on now to um, Sirens versus Telekinesis. This is actually a tough one for me, bro. <laughs> Stop this, Luca. This is a tough <laughs> Stop one, it, bro. Get get out of here. This is a tough get one. Get out bro. of town, bro. Get out of town. Stop this, Lou. Oh, the production okay, is beautiful Nick, uh, Nick, you want to come Stop this, Lou. <laughs> bro, <laughs> Stop this, Lou. <laughs> like, bro, come on. What's wrong with you? St guys, no, we're going Siren. I, I, I've been voted off the island, guys. <laughs> Sirens is going to be fucking advancing. Come on. Are and you now serious? we have our semifinals round, which consists of Schizo versus My Eyes and then Modern Jam versus Sirens. The I'm happy song, with Yeah, this. the best songs are here. They made it. Okay, Schizo versus My Eyes. This one's going to be a bit tougher, but you know where I'm going. Schizo versus My Eyes. This is going to My Eyes. Oh. But I know what you're going to do. You're going to want to bring this to Nick because I know where Nick stands on this. I mean, listen, that's the thing, though, is that like the power is ultimately in my hands because if we bring it to Nick, he's going to go with Schizo. Um, Leave Nick out I? of it. 
uh, leave Nick or out will of I? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to reveal my answer, and then I want you to see what yours is, because I'm going to go with my eyes ultimately, but what w. would yours have been? I would have went with my eyes too. There we oh, go. There we go. Sort of go. There we go. NFR team all on the same uh, all on the all same, same page. boat. Yeah, that was a big one. It's ultimately, if you guys watch actually, uh, sorry, not watch, because you can only listen to it, the audio exclusive version where we did our updated list for uh, Travis Scott songs, it's my number 10 right now. Yeah. It's one of the best Travis Scott songs I've ever heard. No I, I want to ask you this. What do you think about the Frank Ocean comparisons to, to something like Nike's or that whole thing? Because he used the high-pitched vocal effect. It, it, it's bullshit, right? As if like he's <laughs> yeah, the only yeah, one to have ever on, done it. Bro, are you serious? I think it does sonically remind you of it, but it's not a knock to be like, Oh well, he jacked that technique, that vocal technique. You know what I mean? Like some people are saying, like, bro, oh, he used FL Studio. Like, like <laughs> Prince has been doing the vocal shifting. You know what I mean? Like so many other artists have done this in the past. Um, but anyways, oh, my he recorded eyes recorded on a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he used headphones for the mixing. <laughs> you wrapped into a microphone? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Should have used the iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> the Kanye way. Um, anyways, though. My, My eyes, eyes are in the go. finals. Now we have Modern Jam versus Sirens. Um, listen, I think that Sirens is the big, the bigger banger. I think it's the one that is going to be played on the Ox a bit more. People are going to vibe out to it. But Modern Jam, to me, again, this is a reinvention of Travis Scott's sound. It's genius. Tizo touchdown with one of the most memorable vocal performances of the entire year. Modern Jam gets the, gets the dub for me. What about you? Listen, I've let Modern Jam slip. I've said, yeah, okay. I said, all right, we'll make it go past two rounds. It's really one of the best structurally, but not this time. We're going to have to stop this. Right no now. way, Jose. For no you? way, Jose. Okay. Listen, I, when I, because when I listen to Sirens, bro, just I feel like the production offers me a lot more if I'm being completely honest with you. I totally disagree. Um, bro, you're getting like... Bro, you're getting stupid <laughs> sense from Mike Dean on fucking... Only towards the end on of the modern track, jam. Though. Only towards the end of the track. Okay, bro, you're still getting that crazy drum pattern that was taken from the "I Am a God" demo, which was brought back. You to get like a better introduction into the track with sirens, into that guitar loop that comes in after the vocal sample. The better Mike Dean outro on no, sirens. I disagree. Better, Nick. Of Nick, what are you saying, Nick? Well, it looks like modern jam is slipping through again and <laughs> yes, making it sir. to the next round. My eyes versus modern jam no, for the finale. Um, what a fucking matchup we have here. Um, listen, I think that when it comes to my eyes, you are getting more versatility from Travis as a performance. Um, getting a more dynamic production, you are. The, it's one of the cleanest beat transitions uh, in his entire that's catalog. That's so easy to say. Like, any song that has a fucking beat switch is going to be dynamic. I think that the difference is with Modern Jam is that you're getting all of these elements weaved in slowly, slowly. Whereas, like, with my eyes, the first production is not one of the more impressive ones off of the, off of the whole Super album. Super atmospheric. It sets up the tempo beautifully for the track. It's essential to the track itself because where you start on this beautiful calm wave and then once those drums kick in with the transition, it's a perfect put together song. One of the best in his catalog. There's no way. Come on. Are we I'm, I'm, I'm going modern jam with this. I think this is just a perfect representation of who Travis Scott is as an artist. Someone who evolves, who's able to change and give us something new. And Same thing for My Eyes. I, I've never heard a song like My Eyes vocally from Travis Scott within his catalog. I could say the same thing. I, I could say I could say you the same. You guys can't leave this to me, man. You can't, it's you even can't the final leaving. round. You can't do this. This should be illegal <laughs> in an NFR bracket. You guys have to figure this out. Come on, bro. We've compromised three different times. I've uh, given you this. I, I've he's Modern Jam's here because of me. I did this. No, you did it. Nick, it's actually because of me. It's, it's, it's cause in here because of, of Nick. Yeah, yeah. Nick brought it in. You, you were this. about to boot it in the last round. I said, okay. You didn't say he, shit. You wanted to okay. kick it off for Sirens. Now it has to be out. Fuck no. <laughs> why, I can't budge why do I have you? to be the budger? Because I budged on two different rounds for you. Why do I have to be Billy Budgerman all the fucking time with <laughs> no, you, brother? What do you mean? Go back into this entire it's episode. It's me. me. <laughs> what was the name you said? Billy Budgerman. <laughs> <laughs> why does it have to be me, bro? I feel like I'm always the one fucking compromising for you. Yeah, for sure, buddy. No, it's always this me. This is a 50-50, bro. Come on now. You gotta flip? meet me halfway. We're not thinking Should a fucking... I just come in? It's either Nick or the coin flip. I'll let you choose. We're not saying this. Okay, okay you, know is, you know what? You know what? Let me talk. Let me talk for a second, all right? I'll be the hero today. I'll give it to my eyes because 
I do think it's an exceptional song, and I'm okay with it being crowned the best on Utopia. I'm okay with it. W's in my book. I'm okay with it, guys. Sometimes you guys got to make sacrifices at the beginning of an episode to see it go all the way. But I still disagree. I still think that uh, Modern Jab's a better song. My eyes is going to be winning the Travis Scott Utopia bracket. No kizzy. Nick, just to know if it would have gone down to the tie break, give me the satisfaction of knowing that Modern Jam would have taken it. What do you guys think I would go? Roly, roly poly on my wrist or uh, <laughs> or Modern Jam? Modern roly, Jam, baby. No, roly, po- roly poly. Modern I, Jam. I was going to go Modern Jam. There we I go. Swear to God. You see? Simple The things. NFR team consensus <laughs> is that Modern Jam is the winner. So Modern Jam is the winner of the Utopia bracket. No. I'm fucking around. I, I was... I turned into Billy Budgerman, so it is what it is. <laughs> Billy Budgerman. We should put that on merch. <laughs> Hello, my name is Billy Budgerman. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, if you enjoyed this piece of content and you guys are only familiar with our short form stuff, we will be uploading more on the, I guess we haven't really come up with a name for the channel yet. So I guess you guys It'll will be find, updated at some yeah, point. Yeah, you though. guys will figure that out at a certain point. So much love to everyone that's followed us along for the Utopia rollout. You guys, I hope you guys have been enjoying all the content. Um, thank you so much for the support on this channel and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.